morning good morning david klein love it like and i love it and one thing that i really love is the art of public speaking and what i even love more about that is that public speaking can and is promised to change and make impacts on the world so what do i do about that i am teaching 365 tips tricks and techniques to do just that okay so let's get to it so i just got started so just to review if you haven't seen it before uh in the introduction the basic part of the introduction is have a, a clear idea of what you want if you don't know what you're talking about your audience isn't going to know what you want and uh, borrowing from the TED talk is make it just that one idea. By the way, I do want to thank this book. I did not write the book. I did not invent it. Mostly it's from the world champions, Mark Brown, Ed Tate, Darren LaCoy, Craig Ballantyne, uh, his, uh, their, uh, Darren LaCoy, their, um, colleagues judy carter and patricia fripp and more uh there's much more uh, one of my favorite authors here is uh, nick morgan and he coined the phrase the only reason to give a speech is to change the world at least i heard it from him so that was the introduction know what you're uh, talking about uh, maybe be clear on it maybe one idea have your audience go from why am i here to how am i going to implement those ideas the, the first tip, uh, mostly from Craig Valentine, uh, was too much narration. You want to have dialogue in it. The second was no um, transformation. If your hero, if your protagonist doesn't transform, how is your audience going to transform? What are they going to do? And now we're at just day three. We're, we're new. We're just getting started. Woohoo! Day three three or tip three and it's no conflict and or getting to it or your story too late an audience think of james bond movies how do they start they're usually skiing down a mountain and shooting everything or everyone at sight in sight racing cars partying through uh, downtown um, Mexico City, it starts with a bang. They don't even do the credits for five or 10 minutes. Starts off with a bang. You wanna hook your audience. And what Craig says, the best way to hook your audience is with conflict. So if you don't get to your story or especially the conflict early, you're gonna lose your audience. And the last thing you want to do is lose your audience. I'm trying to think how I just opened with this. Ha! Get your story right away. So think about it, uh, well, again, like, like a, a 007 movie. So you want to get to it right away. Uh, the Titanic. And you also want to get the conflict and you want to escalate the conflict. And we'll talk more about that with a later tip. You want conflict. You want to get to it early. You don't want to start out with, oh, thank you so much. It's so great to be here. I want to thank this person, that person, this person. No, get to the story. People love stories. That's why it's a, a multi-billion dollar industry. And get to the conflict. Craig talks about the Titanic, how it just keeps escalating and escalating. And that's what makes the movie. So that is it for today. We're going to keep it short and sweet. 365 tips, tricks and techniques for public speaking so you can go out and change the world and i always like to add to get to my story i had uh, two autoimmune diseases tried everything under the sun to get better was sick for 26 years yes 26 years tried everything every doctor every healer every tonic everything nothing worked I ended up not going bankrupt once, but twice, lost every investment I had until a healer came up to me soon. And she said, David, why don't you get a nutritionist? 
Never thought of that. No doctor ever advised that. You mean we are what we eat? You mean food is thy medicine and thy medicine is thy food? Go figure. And now I'm 100% healed. But on top of that, I've learned and realized, and I, I knew it, and that's why I was a vegetarian the first time, was I don't like killing animals. Every day, an animal doesn't die because of me. Every day. I mean, think about it. You eat a chicken, you're really hungry. That's half a chicken right there. I just ate half a chicken. So even if the very kindest, I'm uh, killing an animal every other day. But it's really more like every day. And get this, the biggest reason we are destroying the planet is because of killing and eating of the animals and destroying the planet because we're doing that. It's uh, up to sometimes 18 times more efficient to have a plant-based diet as far as destroying the planet. So that's it for now. We'll see you tomorrow, 8 a.m.